हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी बायजूज एग्जाम प्रेप ट्रिकोपीडिया लेट्स ट्रिक इट टॉपिक इज फास्ट वे टू सॉल्व प्रिसीजन रेक्टिफायर इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स स्पेशली गेट इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज इसरो नाउ वॉच दिस डायग्राम दिस इज नॉर्मल हाफ वे रेक्टिफायर पैसिव हाफ वे रेक्टिफायर बट इट कान रेक्टिफाई टेन साइन ओमेगा टी मिली वोल्ट Why? Because it is a small signal. Highest value is 10 millivolt. If we are assuming practical diode, minimum 0.7 volt is required for silicon diode. Means this circuit can't rectify this signal. Therefore, this is precision rectifier, right? We are assuming operational ideal operational amplifier, practical diode. In my previous session, that is super diode, I have explained the function of this circuit. Watch that. now what is the limitation of this limitation of this circuit is when the diode is reverse bias for example when we are assuming a negative value this diode is reverse bias guys when we are assuming the diode is reverse bias there is a very very large voltage across the diode operational amplifier goes into saturation and this diode is reverse bias by minus 15 volt and that's why what is the piv 15 volt because piv is the magnitude of the voltage that is the 15 volt very high piv now what is the practical solution half wave precision rectifier we are using two diodes here now how we can solve this now watch this here we are giving the vi in inverting terminal there is a 180 degree phase shift this is va when we are giving the positive voltage at this point that is greater than 0 both the diodes are practical diodes op amp is ideal va become negative d1 of d2 on d1 of d2 on and we are getting what output zero and operational amplifier will not goes into saturation because there is negative feedback through d2 when v in is positive that is the case when v in is negative because of 180 degree phase shift here you will get the positive value because of positive d1 is on d2 is off again there is negative feedback it will avoid the saturation of op amp and what is v not minus r by r into vi just like inverting half wave rectifier that is minus vi now for positive half output is zero for negative half we are getting the minus vi with 180 degree phase shift that's why it is called inverting half wave rectifier now watch this diagram this is the input for positive half output is zero for negative half we are getting the positive output again for positive half output is zero this is a half wave what is the transfer curve guys transfer curve for positive half we are getting zero output for negative half what is the output positive right and what is the slope of this line one so that is the v not versus vs curve for precision half wave rectifier second diagram suppose we are changing the polarity of the diode both the diodes okay now when we are giving the positive value at this point va will become negative now this is the diode d1 this diode d1 is on diode d2 is off when d1 is on what will be the output minus 1 by 1 into v in that is minus v in for negative half it is negative but va is positive because of positive value d1 is off remember once the d1 is off output is zero okay that is output is zero but operational amplifier will not go into saturation this diode will provide the negative feedback so that is the case for this diagram what is the output then for positive half we are getting negative output for negative half zero again for positive half negative output transfer curve will lies in what fourth quadrant for positive half we are getting negative output for negative half we are getting zero output so this type of questions we may expect in coming competitive exams this is all about precision rectifier and that is the short trick to solve this question so subscribe the channel like the session and share the link of this session thank you for attending the session